What in the hell is Geese Howard? Damn. Ow! Shit! Mm. Got me dropping shit? God damn it. Stay right there, Gohan. <laughs> Let me put your father more right side up. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Perfect. What in the hell is Geese Howard doing? Damn, it fell right on my toe. Shit. Spikes from Gohan's head. Doing the attacking game. I don't understand it. Let's check this shit out. They've linked up with the Fatal Fury series. And then bring on Terry Bogard then. Don't worry, I'll get back to playing this soon. Trust me. I will. I'm working on it. I'll make an announcement about my game in after this. Mishima, the world is too big for you to control. Leave it all to me. You can just die. Mm, okay. <laughs> series it was Neo Geo game correct at first but then uh started coming out for other stuff and um because I guess because the Neo Geo system wasn't available to everybody I mean it was like the most expensive system that you could get as a matter of fact from what I understand about the Neo Geo from what I remember literally when you bought the Neo Geo basically you were buying the arcade game the our literal arcade basically home version of the machinery that is literally inside the cabinets so basically condensed or whatever and you bought a controller that you know really looked like and then you literally and their games were like a couple hundred bucks or something i can't like i remember something about that and i remember the cartridges were like this big like and basically i never developed a love for it because i never was able to play it 
But then I think it, it started coming out for like stuff like maybe the Super Nintendo or or um, or like PlayStation. But I but I I didn't really play it because I hadn't developed the love for it early on. Yeah, I was already in love with Street Fighter and stuff. So and Tekken and stuff like that. So never really played it. But I think I did buy one. I think, but I didn't like it that much. And uh, you know, you know what made me a, f a fan of this series was the Fatal Fury animated movies. And uh, I have all three of them. I ended up really loving them, especially the second and the third one. The second and the third one I really loved. And um, I remember Geese Howard from the third one really making an impression on me. He did that Raging Storm. And I'm just like, wow, this dude's no fucking joke. So um, that's one of the reasons why I was excited to see him here. To me, I mean, he looks cool. Uh, the Raging Storm did not have the effect I was hoping we were going to have. Um, but uh, it looks like a cool character. He has a few cool moves. But um, what I was going to say is I'm looking to get back to playing games around like, um, like I want to be on a schedule to where I wake up early, get out a few uh, videos that I normally do, reactions, Magnus answers, stuff like that, unboxings, and then jump right, right from there after I'm done, uh, upload them, make them live, jump over and start playing some games, okay, or a game. And then somewhere in the afternoon to evening is where I will do um, my live streams to the anime or whatever else it is that I'm watching. That way I've got time to have a normal life and do other things, you know what I'm saying? So stay tuned, get over to Tower Magnus Gaming. Um, they gave me Minecraft for free. I might play that for Telltale. Let me know if the Game of Thrones Telltale gives away any spoilers to the regular series. Because the normal Telltale Walking Dead doesn't give away anything. So if it doesn't, let me know and I'll play that, all right? Post comments down below. Let me know what you all thought of you and enjoyed my reaction. Hit the like button, subscribe, and share. If you did not, you can kiss thine black derriere. 10 million subscribers. Woo!